Now, for businesses to thrive and remain relevant, issues around the, the environment and must be taken a lot more seriously. Now, at the CIBN Entrepreneurship Development Program held in Lagos, uh, speakers believe that when business decisions should be made uh, with a proper understanding of what sustainability stands for should be brought to the fore. Take a listen. Um, sustainability has moved from margin to mainstream. So it used to be like an addendum to business initially, but now it's not a center point. If you look at the uh, feedbacks that you get from COP28, it's basically like electrifying to know that everybody's now committed to climate change, even, even the climate denials. So it's something that we need to bring back home and actually incorporate into business development and even entrepreneurship, because ultimately you cannot rehearse what you're not going to perform, right? So you cannot plan to have a proper business and not understand what the top of business toolkit looks like. Environment means, we're very clear on what governance means, but social, we haven't quite sort of like gotten to the bottom of it. The intersectional issues around whether it's gender, diversity and inclusion, impact, young people, uh, um, people who are disabled, and just even employee welfare, I think that's really critical and everything, whether environment, government, or governance rather, impacts social. So all impacts are social, that's why I said so. I believe the nation needs it because we have so many environmental challenges, we have so many social challenges within the system, and governance has been an issue. That is why it means it means of all plenty we are suffering in this country. We believe that if we start educating people at this level, then it will reach a stage when things will change for better for the nation.